Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play StarCraft 2, The Heart of the Swarm. In the last video, a lot of exciting stuff happened. Look at that cute little larva coming out of her spawning pool. That's pretty awesome. Um, but yeah, a lot of crazy stuff happened. Kerrigan, first of all, got re so she is back to her ri original Queen of Blades form, which... It's a big old downer. I love Kerrigan in her human form a bit more. Her original form, obviously. Uh, way, way, way original. Not not original Queen of Blades, but original Kerrigan. Good old classic Kerrigan. But I, I, I think playing as her and controlling the Zerg, kind of a little bit inevitable that she was going to be back to this. And, of course, she looks like a total badass anyways. Then, we also got De, uh, Dehaka. Dehaka joining us here, a primal Zerg, so that's going to be pretty cool. And... We, uh, should have more Kerrigan levels, but we can't seem to click that button quite yet. I'm gonna imagine, um, random guess probably means we'll, that we'll need to talk to Abathur about our evolution back into a Zerg person before we could go back to that kind of stuff. At least that's what I really hope. Those level ups were, are, are one well, of my favorite things about this game. I, I need them. Otherwise, I'm going to be drained of all excitement and happiness and become a sorrowful, sorrowful man. Maybe we need to talk to someone up here first, though, but, uh, instead. But we'll give Kerrigan, uh, the first once over. I feel a power like nothing I've known before. Inside of yourself or on this planet? Probably inside of herself, I would guess, since Ker the Kerrigan was never fully aware of what she did as the Queen of Blades in the past. Uh, let's get Yisha over with. You radiate so much power. More than the old Queen of Blades ever did. Everything is different. I could always hear the swarm, control it. But now, I feel the swarm. Now I am the swarm. Huh. I wonder if that's part of the Primal Zerk, because of course I would imagine that her... Uh, infection and evolution, uh, to become part Zerg. I, I would imagine that that, uh, was done differently the first time than it would be since we are on the Primal Zerg planet. So that's, that's very interesting. Wouldn't surprise me if that does somehow make her stronger than she was in the past. Zervan, what's up with you, my big ol' lo lovable lug? of something dark but long gone. Amon must have died before I was infested. I hope it is so, for he truly could rip worlds apart. Huh. I wonder if Amon has something to do with the Protoss hybrid then? Or maybe he'll just never be spoken of again. I, I don't know. Zagara, what's up? My, my good old-fashioned gal. I look like the leader of the swarm now. Perhaps this will help bring more brood mothers back into the fold. You were the true leader of the swarm yesterday, and you will be tomorrow. Your appearance does not matter. Perhaps not to you. The Terrans will not be so understanding. Oh god, I didn't even think about that! Our relationships with the Terrans and the Zerg is gonna be completely wrecked now! Especially the Terrans. Actually, I imagine the Protoss, as we saw, kind of did not really forgive us at all. But yeah, the Terrans, seeing that Kerrigan's back in this form, they're all gonna think she's still a monster! And personally, I can't blame them. If I was just some random Terran civilian and I saw that uh, Kerrigan's back to looking like this, I'm sure I would think the exact same thing. Dahaka, my good sir? Do you think the remaining pack leaders will join me now? They are a rock, a tree, a hill. They will stand against the wind. They seek power. And you? I am a river. I will flow. I seek essence. Well, the pack leaders have no chance against the swarm now. They gather 
essence for thousands of years. They are blinded, but they are not foolish. <laughs> okay. Whatever you say, Doc, or whatever you say. He's kind of a funky, weird guy. Abathur, give me evolutions back, please. I want them. And, of course, we actually got the Swarm Hosts upgrades, too. That'll be nice. Really want an evolution mission, though. I, I, I have to imagine that this next level is going to unlock us one. Probably for the Mutalisk. So that's going to be pretty fun. Abathur, tell me uh, the good news, bro. Genetic strands different. Restructured from base level up. Stronger than Queen of Blades. Sequences complex but clean. Completely different at core. Yes, I am different. I am my own master. When the Zelnaga artifact made me human again, it cleansed me of Amon's influence. And that allowed me to become something greater. Must take sample. Study new sequences. Don't even try, Abathur. What I am now is beyond your comprehension. Difficult to admit. New structure beyond understanding will return to work. <laughs> oh, poor Abathur. He just got denied. Denied big old time. Man, that didn't seem to do anything with upgrades. I really hope we can up level up Kerrigan. I don't know, we'll just have to see. If nothing else, I really hope that she at least maintained her previous um, abilities if we do get to use her in the next mission. Uh, so we've got Burrow! Wow, that that's going to be super strong if these guys can Burrow and still release their guys. Because then they're, uh, as long as their enemies don't have sight, uh, then they'll be immune while being able to release all these ground units. Honestly, that makes these guys more viable to me because otherwise I don't think I would use swarm hosts at all but let, let's go ahead and see what else they have because might be cooler than burrow but I kind of doubt it um burrow allow swarm hosts to burrow while burrowed swarm hosts cannot be seen by enemies without detection so they can't even be seen I didn't notice that kind of funny that they can't be seen when they're pretty obviously right there <laughs> At least to our eye, I guess. Able to spawn locusts while burrowed. Okay, that is awesome. Uh, and then rapid incubation. Lo uh, locusts spawn 20% faster. Don't really care about that. I think that's much worse than burrow. And then uh, pressurized glands. Interesting. Locusts can now bo uh, attack both air and ground units. Oh no! I was really, really hoping that that would be an evolution upgrade. Because that is what makes these guys so crazy strong. I, I mean, that, that upgrade is what would make these guys so crazy strong. Honestly, if I could get them burrow and pressurized glands through an evolution mission, then I think these guys would be much better than having the uh, spine crawlers, an anti-air spine crawler thing. Ugh. Well, I'm still gonna go with Burrow. Because I, I think that that's still the better of the two. I may be very, very much so wrong. And we still can't do Kerrigan levels. Oh, that is so frustrating. Whatever, it's only frustrating because we have enough experience to level her up again, but maybe that'll just make things more exciting for the future. It is time. Confront the remaining pack leaders. Take what is theirs. Embrace the destiny of all Zerg. Now, whatever you say, bro. Hydralisk evolution mission, yes! Oh, and nine level points, cool. So I guess we would need one more to fully level? Although, actually, we probably are getting to the point where 10 uh, points is not enough to level up. So it might take a bit more than that. But that would be really cool if the next time we do get to level up, we actually get 2 points worth. I really like this guy's arms. They're so funky looking. He's got, like, this weird, like, uh, cat-like leg where it, like, bends backwards instead of forwards. And then a claw on this side. Weird claws down there. This guy's really, really cool looking. Don't remember his name at all, but, you know. 
Sucks that he was sleeping for so long. I mean, maybe the only way that, that a creature that big could live for so long would be uh, to hibernate. A hibernate? To hibernate. What am I saying? Hibernate for a, a long period of time. But I don't know. Maybe I'm just a silly Billy Papa Chili. So then, Adventure Ho. I really want to be able to use Kerrigan again, so hopefully that'll be a thing. Yeah, that's pretty scary. Oh my god. That's like that one Pikmin boss that shoots these balls. Look at those bouncing banelings! I want that! Oh, yeah! Defend the Leviathan. I will deal with the path leaders myself. One on one? Oh my god, this is gonna be intense. Right now, Kerrigan has zero abilities, so I'm a little bit mad at her. Where's our Baneling upgrade? I want it! I want it! I spent good money on that thing. Or good time and resources. Whoa. Okay. Okay, that's pretty cool. Cooldown is like minimal too. And is our energy a hundred? No, it can't be because no that didn't take nearly half of it. Oh, it did take like half of it. Never mind. Ability, psionic shift, dash Kerrigan, quickly, stand still. Destroy creatures within path. Can, can you stand you still, don't. Kerrigan? What is- get over here! I want to be able to read this thing, so stand still, you silly, silly Billy Papa Chili. Uh, Kerrigan dashes through enemies, dealing 50 damage to all enemies in their path. How strong are these guys? I want to click on them, see their health. Whatever, that doesn't matter. Kerrigan, destroy them all, make me very- Oh, it's even got a weird, like, line path thing! This is make getting, like, peace. super moba -y now. Can we actually use that dash to uh, to traverse walls as well? No, we cannot. Okay, so that's good to know. What is this? This relic, Zelnaga origin, houses genetic information. Primal roaches help. They fight Yandra's brood. Okay. Oh, they're so cool looking. Heal nearby Zerg and self. Wait, what? Oh, shoot! Okay, so let's grab these guys, make them their own group, and we'll unburrow them. Um, you you totally did not need to kill that poor animal, you silly man. Okay, so that's just a global heal, costs 30. That is really freaking nice. Kerrigan is an unstoppable force of destruction and doom. And of course we already knew that, but it's just getting more and more crazy as time goes on. Destroy this man! Uh, destroy him! Jump on him! I want you to deal more damage, uh, you wonderful, wonderful peace. woman. Wonderful woman! Show me your power! Give me your abilities! For half an hour! Okay. <laughs> I apologize for that quite deeply and greatly, my friends. Finds- Oh, so the Zonaga relics are actually, uh, a part of- levels and we could just walk over this oh i'm silly i thought we had to follow this path i honestly still kind of want to follow the path because i guess i i'm a sheep and i follow like rules <laughs> because i i don't have any idea why i actually would want to follow that oh there's one okay so kerrigan already has enough energy so basically that means all these guys are gonna be completely and utterly shrecked and we got level 40! That's another ability! Because I'm pretty sure for every achievement we get, that's another abi uh, an ability achieved. So that's really, really cool. I hope we didn't miss any others. Because I wasn't paying all that much attention, but I I don't think we did. I, I think that was the first of the new ones that popped up. So, or of the Zelnaga artifacts. So we could probably continue moseying on along. Is there anything over here? This is kind of a cool looking... Oh, look at the pretty waterfall! So lovely. What other 
whatever happened with that strange guy who was watching us? Oh, was that Zagat or Del Rock or whatever? The, the guy who joined us. That must have been the primal Zerg man who ended up joining our colony, who was uh, there... Who, who was the guy who was kind of, like, stalking us in the last mi mission? Because that, that would, by far, make the most sense. Oh, this is gonna be so cool. Jump like that, and then boom! Suck it, bros! Uh, yeah, Kerrigan doesn't need to heal those guys. Although, maybe she might as well. Yeah, let's just do that. Because whenever we've got ample energy, I don't think there's really a reason not to heal our dudes. Came pretty close to the end of the, the, the trail. But the, actually, there are still three... Oh, more roaches. Only two, though. That's not all that exciting. Um, we do still actually have three big old jerkwad bosses to fight, so it's not like we, we are running out of ample opportunity to find the Zelnok artifacts. It is time. Oh, this is the worm! I remember. Hello, how's it going? Leader of the broken back. No. <laughs> You do know you never had a chance, right? Oh, we get to see where he attacks? That makes this so much easier. Man, this is so cool! We got freaking bosses going on here! Should be pretty easy to handle, I imagine. Yeah, Kerrigan jump. Oh no, the roaches! That was dumb. That was really dumb. Beat him up! Oh, they're eggs? Here, roaches, you guys go beat him up like that. Run, 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 fools. Oh, you idiots. Carrie could just keep on hitting him or herself. I, I think we should actually do a better job protecting the roaches. Um, because Kerrigan can easily handle the eggs herself. So just attack him with roaches. Wow, this guy's an idiot. He, like, could not have aimed in a, in a worse location. Then jump. Good work, my friends. That does super good stuff for us. Whoa, look at all the eggs! Okay, destroy them, friends. Destroy them all! Okay, Kerrigan should... Yeah, Kerrigan's got the rest. Oh, and they only spawn, like, plain, small enemies? That's not that scary. Attack that! Foolish fools? Here, Kerrigan will handle this man, then. Oh, no! Roaches, run! Kill, roaches! I believe in you! Kerrigan is, like, getting utterly destroyed up here. We still have six roaches. Oh, I think it's time to burrow them. Kerrigan can easily handle the rest on their own, I think. Here, let's even solo this man. Don't destroy my roaches. I love them. <laughs> oh my god, his head just like exploded. And we take his essence too? Oh lord. We are going to be the strongest creature that anyone could ever possibly imagine opposing. And the egg, I guess, just like pooped itself and blew up. So, you know, that worked out well for us. Makes will suffer. Kerrigan walks so fast. She looks really silly the way she walks, at least to me. Oh, they're friendlies! Thanks to Hawk, my good sir. I, I really appreciate it. Probably, me probably means that they're getting hydralisks. We'll have to deal with air units, so that's gonna be a little bit frustrating, but that's okay. Oh, I really should have gotten uh, some dudes. I mean, the I really should have gotten everyone over here first once I saw those eggs. Might be able to handle them, handle them, handle them all fast enough though. Kerrigan, go, 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 go! Oh, again! Yeah! Oh no, there's more! Oh god! Run, friends! Beat them up! Beat them up before they show us the meaning of d despair and sadness. Okay, our forces are under attack. That's a little bit scary. I don't want any of them to die. So let's actually just have everyone burrow. Kerrigan can easily finish all these dudes solo. And in fact, actually, they can unburrow now. Kerrigan's seal. Yeah, that's easy mode. <laughs> that is, like, super easy way to handle this situation. I don't think we even lost anyone there, too, so that's awesome. Friends, please come along. Yes. Show me the way to uh, the heart of a man, because I need it. I need it in my bum. Because, you know, there's really no other place to have the heart of a man. Can we jump across this cliff? Ah, oh, no, that sucks. Oh, well. Oh, hello, guys! Uh, nice to see you coming in for a nice good old surprise at the hands of Kerrigan herself. Oh, God, there's more! Kerrigan, destroy! Yes! 
She is maybe a little bit OP, but that's kind of also exactly how I would want this situation to go. So, let's jump. Slash. Give me everything I want. Jump. And uh, beat it up. Yeah. They basically never stood a chance. So then... We're almost on our way to the final guy. I'm going to... We'll still keep a good eye out for Zelnaga artifacts, but if I was to love you, I guess I would imagine that that's probably going to be it for all of the ones uh, in this, like, segment of the map. Because they, they definitely seem to be... Oh, God, let's destroy all those guys as fast as we can. Seriously, this psionic shift move is going to be unbelievably strong in future missions. I, I really, really hope that we still have our Baneling upgrade. Honestly, I don't think I really care about anything else. The kinetic shot one was really, really good, but now we've just got an upgraded version of that. What, like a kinetic shot that also allows us to leap towards our opponent. Um, so I don't feel bad about losing that at all. I just really want our Baneling upgrade. And like I said, I'm sure that's gonna come back. I'm just a little bit worried. So, boom. Uh, let's Oh no, we lost a guy! That's so sad. Oh well. We're bound to lose units eventually, so no re real reason to cry over spill milk. Is there something in here? Nah, probably just the guy. The guy was probably just chilling in there. Taking a, a nice little, 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 little nap. Not a little nap, a little, little, little nap. Or something like that. My pack is ready to fight. Hello, friend. Well, thank you. Thank you for showing your devotion to me. I really do appreciate it. Dahak is already show- Whoa! Oh! That's Dahak's right arm! Dahak, you the poor, poor man. Do we get a story from this? I want to see a story. Tell me about how you lost your arm, friend. Oh, that's so sad. Can we, like, grab it and bring it back? <laughs> it's still bleeding profusely. Does that mean it, like, constantly evolves? That would be insane. Poor Doc. I mean, it can't be fun to lose an arm, to say the least. So then, um, oh, maybe this was the beast that took his arm, so we're gonna totally, like, avenge him now? That would be cool. I feel your strength. You will be worth killing. Worth the blood. Yeah, well, you're worth killing just because you're a big old fatty. Here, let's actually bring all those guys underground. Uh, are they taking damage under there? Oh, they totally are. Heal them, Kerrigan! Oh, God, that was a horrible spot to place our dudes. We need to unburrow and just attack. Um, we'll, we'll, now I'll know to move them from henceforward. That was a really dumb move. Uh, so burrowing is definitely not the best idea for beating up enemies. Remember that, Brendan. Oh, God! Run, friends! Run! Oh, did he make it? He made it. Kerrigan, get over there and heal them. Good, good work, Kerrigan. Oh no! Stop being such a poopy faced banana pants! Jump on him, Kerrigan! Run! Yes! I am loving this mission so far. These, like, strange boss esque missions are really cool! And a lot of fun, too, to say the least. Oh, that was the worst way to move them. <laughs> yeah, that was. That was not the smartest way to handle that situation. Just destroy the boss! Yeah! Cut the head off the snake and all his minions die. With that guy's essence, we're gonna be like super strong. Sucks that we don't seem to get any additional uh, abilities whenever we level up though, because that would be nice. Oh, and our exit is blocked. That poor little crab guy is like stuck. That's kind of funny. Heal all of you, my lovely subjects, and then let's go ahead and continue onwards. Oh, we get this guy! They will That's an Ultralisk? That is supposed to be an Ultralisk. Man, Ultralisks have really changed in the years then, apparently. That is really funny. Yeah, that is definitely the Ultralisk Frozo. Frenzied. Immune to snare, stun, and mind control effects. Really? Have Ultralisks always been immune to mind control? Maybe they have, maybe they haven't. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know anything about the world of StarCraft. I'm too much of a simple-minded, uh, poopy-faced banana pants. So then, ooh, look at that p really beautiful, like, tree bridge. I like that a lot. Oh, God. Well, that's gonna be annoying. Fighting through an army of banelings. 
That is not gonna be fun. That is in fact going to be pretty much the opposite of fun. But I do really like this uh, new enemy that we're gonna be fighting here. Number one, because they had the, the bouncy banelings. And number two, definitely chose a pretty beautiful place to live. Oh, whoa, what's that? There's some kind of structure over there. I wanna know what's the secret of that. Who built that? Certainly not the the, Zer the primal Zerg, I imagine. I mean, maybe I'm wrong, but I, I would guess not. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Uh, okay. Jump through! Good work, Kerrigan! These guys are not nearly as bad as I thought they were. Uh, which makes me happy. Here, let's just destroy the rest of them like that. That's that's the safe way to handle them. And it actually looks like we get we get to go into the building over here. Poss oh, who are you? Oh. Bring it down quickly. Yeah, these guys are pissed. These guys really don't like me. <laughs> I thought we were getting a friend. Instead, we just got a bunch of really angry, vomiting dudes. Oh, we're out of energy. Here, just grab that then, Kerrigan. Beat him up. Yeah. Yeah, let's go ahead and kill all of them. Just to teach them a lesson. Seriously, who built these structures? Oh, no, it, it, it was the Protoss, duh. Because the Protoss, I, I think the lore was saying, used to be here. This is why I need to pay attention more. Um, but then beyond that, we're discovering all these Zelnaga artifacts, and this is totally Protoss looking. So yeah, yeah, it, it was definitely the Protoss. I don't know why I thought it was anyone else. Looks like this, this, since it says Kerrigan must survive, this is actually our first mission possibly ever. Um, well, I guess you could include the last mission. But this is uh, the first mission in a long, long while where we've actually needed to keep Kerrigan alive. Here, I'm actually gonna burrow all those guys because I don't want to lose any of them. Because they're, they're too near and dear to my heart. My lovely little uh, friends fighting with me now and forever. Kerrigan, you could go ahead and heal them. Thank you for that. And then, as Kerrigan herself said, our conquest continues. Basically, wreck all enemies that, um, want to, uh, tell us that they don't like us. Oh, God. Okay. You guys are all burrowing. This is Kerrigan's job. What is that? It's a weird, angry plant. I don't like weird, angry plants. I'm the least. No! Don't you dare hurt my friend. Here, you, you, absolutely no. We're, we're not gonna hurt that poor innocent creature. But we will, uh, destroy this not innocent at all, but poor creature because it's going to die. Excellent work, Kerrigan. Oh, wonderful job you did there, Kerrigan! Excellent work! So many Banelings! They're everywhere on this map! This is the worst! Oh, and I actually can't walk through there. I have to jump. So let's get our guys coming. Oh, that's an angry plant again. The plant didn't even try attacking us, I don't think. Oh no. Oh no. Okay. Beat him up! Uh, jump again. Oh, that deals so much damage! And now we could easily just do this. Just wait for, uh, our stuff to charge. Oh god, they're actually just blowing up. Yeah, Kerrigan can handle the rest easily. Let's just get our guys down here. Simple way to deal with that whole process. Man, I, I can't shake the feeling that we actually might not have our original upgrade tree anymore. Because in this single mission, we got... Uh, technically, I guess we already had Leaping Strike, and maybe we won't have the attack that, uh, damages multiple units at once anymore, the, like, chain attack, but we also have Psionic Shift, which is completely new, and now we've also got Mend, so that's a lot of abilities that we would have for Kerrigan. I mean, I'm sure we are gonna get more Micro Potential, but like I was saying, that, that's a, that's a lot, so it, it, unfortunately wouldn't surprise me if we, we, if we don't get our Baneling thing back. We probably will, though. I, I I really shouldn't concern myself with that too much. I, I don't think there's any way that they would take that away from us. Yes. Especially after I learned to love it so. So let's just eliminate that guy. I cannot believe that just in, like, two hits, Kerrigan can basically utterly destroy any big enemies that, uh... Would, would would want to attack us. I mean, as long as she has the energy for it, of course, since that's the the main caveat to that whole issue. 
heal our dudes just to make sure that they continue to have enough. Let's go ahead and beat up this needle because, you know, why the fudge not? Might as well even heal them, I suppose, since we have so much extra mana at this point. Man, we have to take the longest path just to get to this angry, uh, baneling butt creature. One? I know every unit matters, but that's a little bit disappointing. Him being like, yeah, I, I've got more troops to help you, but it's only one. <laughs> like, it's a, not really the most extra extravagant looking uh, uh, or massive looking force or, uh, uh, of an army you're bringing me there, my good sir. All right, here we go. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> oh my god, we got a badass over here. You know, like, welcome to our demise. Can we kill those things, please? Thank you, Kerrigan. Let's just destroy them all the quick and easy way. Probably shouldn't- Oh god. Oh my lord! Okay, well we just lost everything except for three roaches. Oh, two roaches. Oh, and our guy, our big old guy. Here, Kerrigan, heal and then blow them all up that way. That way's- Faster and smarter. I, 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 will, I must admit, uh, in doing this mission, I was kind of expecting that we would only have uh, Kerrigan by the end of this boss right here. So, I'm not... Uh, here, let's actually just use those guys to attack that then. Kerrigan is, like, about to die. Kerrigan, you back out, please. Oh, no. Luckily, she can heal herself with that move. We did lose our Ultralisk, though, so I think it might be the end for uh, our additional forces. Destroy! Destroy Kerrigan! Love of my life! Destroy! Yeah! Okay, they're almost dead. We've got one roach alive still. Here, you know what? Let's just keep this guy alive. Because you know what? We, we should at least uh, hold deer and treasure one of our forces. So we could do that with him. Okay, then we back up. Back up a bit. And then I think we should only need like one more right click. And two Qs to be able to finish this guy off. So Q1, Q2, and then we run! Oh, they're blowing up all over the place! Kill! Yeah! We are far too strong. Look at our roach just chilling in the, in the ground there. That's kind of silly. Here, here, buddy! Get out of there! Uh, yeah! Here, give, give, your, give your mommy some love. Give your mommy some love. Oh man. No allegiance but to self. Kill or be killed. You know this. Of course. One will be consumed and become something greater than either. This is the heritage of the Zerg. Alright, I knew this was coming, I just wasn't sure when exactly to expect it. Uh, let's grab all of our forces. Move, 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 move. Okay, so they're their own group now. That'll be good. Uh, I, I don't think we're gonna be able to do all that good of a job handling these guys, unfortunately, since they are big, giant, evil monsters. Although, we are doing a ton of damage to this guy. Maybe we should just, like, have Kerrigan. Oh, God. Run, friends! Okay. Okay, that's actually more than enough for that. And Kerrigan can just use her right, her Q move on those guys. That's super good. Destroy Ultralisk Man! Here, you keep on attacking him, because you're big and strong. Boom, boom! That's good extra- Oh, God! Oh, I didn't even notice that! I didn't notice that he was going to attack him right there. Those guys will be super easy to finish off really quick, so we could just have Kerrigan do that. Let's get the rest of these guys. Kerrigan, beat him up, and then you go- Oh, God! R move, Kerrigan! Look out! Whoa, what is he doing here? Oh, no! 
Whoa, he's doing some kind of weird charge laser attack! Well, too bad, my friend, because I believe the end for you is right now. Yeah, he, he's, he's been totally and utterly destroyed. What? We just blew his brain up. We just blew up his brain. Kerrigan is now the strongest thing in the entire universe. <laughs> Zerus is mine. <laughs> Isha, prepare the Leviathan. It's time the swarm returned to the Kakulu Scepter. Yeah, that was pretty insane! I don't remember blowing his head up, so that's really exciting and fun. Um, bonus objective Xerus. Oh, he was the- he was a bonus objective? Oh, I got a Dehaka portrait? That is so cool! Okay, I can't wait to have fun with that. What's all this? Kill 30 enemies with Kerrigan, um... And complete Supreme Mission with, uh, without laying Kerrigan drop below 100 health. Man, I'm actually surprised we did that. When fighting a couple of those Banelings, we got Kerrigan super low. Queen of the Jungle. That's pretty good. I like that a lot. Looks like we are moving on to other places. I don't know if we will get a cutscene at the end of that mission. Um, probably, probably not. I don't know. But, of course, we've got future places to explore. Uh, and new things to discover. We have got to have, uh, re-unlocked those Kerrigan level-ups, though, after that mission, though, right? My queen, I have been contacted by Kalisa, a broodmother. She has heard of your accomplishments and wishes to return her brood to the swarm. Her brood is small in number, but it has strong leviathans. Kalisa, hear me. The planet Mistef 4 is a hub of Dominion military production. Take your brood there, and destroy it. Do that, and you will earn your place within the swarm. It shall be as you say, my queen. Well, sucks to be them! That's kind of a bad situation. transformation has altered your abilities. Oh. If you wish, you can review the changes within your chamber. Oh uh, no! I don't want to lose the Banelings! That was my favorite upgrade! Okay, you know what guys, we're gonna check that out right now. Everything else will be saved for the next mission, but I wanna see these upgrades. I'm, I'm way too hyped to wait. Yes! We still got Baneling upgrades! Yes! <laughs> Whoa! We just get another tree? That is so cool! Okay, this one was Meld. Meld is super strong. Um, especially that... Wait, uh... For 50 life, an additional 50% of the amount healed regenerates over 15 seconds. Yeah, Meld is really, really good. But, hell no. We are keeping the spawn Banelings ability. That, that one is just way too fun and awesome. That might be my favorite ability. Uh, that might be, not ability, that might be, be my favorite straight up upgrade in this game and Wings of Liberty. Like, I, I'm, I really love that upgrade. Especially since we uh, got the bouncing Bane Links. That just made it even more, even better because their utility capability is so much higher. So, uh, let's double check the damage here. That does 300? Oh, I hate to say it, but I think we're going to stick with Kinetic Blast then. Because Leaping uh, Passive Kerrigan gains plus 10 damage, attack range reduced by 3, though. I think we might stick with Kinetic Blast. Because Leaping Strike, they're both the same amount of mana. Yeah, but that is no cooldown. So technically, if we wanted to use this for the same amount of mana, I mean, no. I mean, for double the mana, we could do the same amount of damage, but then we also have a leap and extra base damage. You know what? The leap is probably better. Because then we could gank enemies as well, if enemies are like across platforms or something like that. Yeah. L let's take the leap. I feel bad. I really, really like Kinetic Blast. 
but I think the leap is better. This is the hard one. No, we're sticking with chain reaction. Wait, deals 10 damage to up to four. Oh, so that's actually a base damage. That changes that. I was going to say we're gonna keep this one because we got a damage bonus thanks to this upgrade. But if, if that's a base amount of 10 damage to the surrounding enemies, then that's a little bit unfortunate. Um, movement speed is increased by 30%. That's nice as well. Hmm. But chain reaction is so good. But this might be able to do more than chain reaction would do much more quickly. Hmm. Let's take that. Let, let, let's take psionic shift. I think it's debatable which one is better. This one definitely acts quicker, which I think might make it better. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> we'll, we'll have to see. Then, um, of course, we've got the improved overlords. Oh, that's the one that gives them 50% more supply. But we can spawn them instantly, so that's not incredibly important. And this is automated? Extractors automatically extract Vespian gas without drones? Oh, shoot! Okay, since we have the automatic spawning, automatically spawning overlords, um... Oh no, that's... This is what makes them spawn instantly. Damn. That sucks. We're sticking with this, then. I would love to get automated extractors, but no. I, I think the ability to automatically spawn overlords is... OP as hell. Like that, <laughs> this upgrade is unbelievable. This one's really cool as well, but this is more just something nice. I mean, think about it. Obviously it saves you time because w immediately after you build an extractor, you're instantly gaining uh, three uh, drones worth of Vespian gas right off the bat. Like you don't then have to micro those drones to start gaining it. But really, if you keep track of it, how much of a bonus is that? Like, a second of time? A uh, half a second of extra Vespian gas? It's not really all that substantial. Um, and uh, if you think of it from a mineral count, that's saving you uh, 150 minerals uh, of worth of drones for extracting. I don't... This is just nice, you know, whereas this is OP as hell and really, really powerful. So we're sticking with that. As I said, Mend is a big ol' no. We are not getting that. We want to keep spawn banelings. And then we've got a whole new tree. Oh, this is gonna be cool. Is this two drones per? That might be so good. Oh, twin drones. Drones morph in groups of two at no additional cost and require less supply. So I guess two drones counts as one for supply. That is also so good, so good. Um, your units and structures gain increased life regeneration and 30% uh, increase attack speed on creep. Um, creep tumors spread uh, creep faster and farther. That's nice as well. Uh, let me just let, read that one more time. Uh, oh, I didn't actually say its name. Uh, Maligant Creeper. Maligant Creep, I think that probably is. Units and structures gain increased life regeneration. Oh, but that's not 30% increased. It, it's just increased life regeneration. And 30% increased attack speed on Creep. Oh, so on Creep, they get additional... They get 30% plus attack speed. Oh, and the health regen is only on creep as well. Okay, I full, I understand that now. So they get a bonus to regeneration and attack speed on creep, and then we could spread creep faster. Uh, I think I'm gonna go with that so far then. Vespian gas har uh, harvesting efficiency increased by 25%. Nope, we'll get that. That's gonna be awesome for us. That is incredible. <laughs> All right, all right. Well, I think that's awesome and cool to see. Oh, so sad that that big majestic primal zerg is now completely gone in the background. But of course, that is something that was inevitable and kind of needed to happen. But anyways, I think that's going to be it for this video. Thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please consider leaving a like, a comment, and or subscribing if you have not. I am the Egg Scrambled Gamer, and I will see you all in the next one. See you guys!